I do have time for this part too. I want to talk about um, God's daughters, queens and princesses. You're not a piece of meat. Um, you will be cherished. You will be loved. Uh, you won't be worshipped. You will be honored. There's different words. Uh, you will be honored. You will be gloried. You will be praised. You will be uh, endeared. In, uh, you'll be adorned, decorated, you'll be loved, uh, you'll be, um, you will be, um, rewarded for your enduring of these, these latter times, okay, and so, you're not a piece of meat, um, that's not that's not what I'm doing. Okay. Um there's a uh, there's days where uh, there's days where I will say what I want, but at, at the end of the day, at the beginning and the end of the day, I'm not doing it for myself. I'm doing it for God's daughters because uh, you guys aren't pieces of meat and I'm going to show you that. I'm going to prove that to you. You're not going to be worshiped. You're going to be honored. You're going to praise be praised you're going to be adored endeared you're going to be adorned and decorated you're going to be crowned you're going to be seated in honor you're going to be given power and rulership you're going to be first oh uh, yeah we're going to be in honeymoon and but also at the same time we're going to be in judgment of this remnant of the wicked unrepentant and um there's going to be judgments going on as we know and during the last seven years or whatever God gives the world to repent, there's going to be many plagues. And so, um, you're going to be placed in power. And you're going to be um, placed in, in rulership. Um, you're not going to be forced to do anything uh, for the young, for the princesses and for, the, um, for everybody. You're not going to be forced to do anything. And that's not what we're doing. And so, um, the, you're going to um, you're going to be planted in a new earth, like a plant, like a tree, like a fruit tree, like a vine. And you're going to you're going to grow. You're going to you're going to stretch. You're going to reach out and grow into the new earths. You're going to accomplish much. You're going to grow in freedom. So if you could imagine. Uh, a vine or a tree, a great like a beanstalk, like the beanstalk movie slaying the giants or what is it called, uh, Jack, Jack the Giant Slayer or something, uh, like a beanstalk or, a, or just a tree that branches out wide, and a vine and a beanstalk, something that goes high and something that goes wide, in every in every direction, that's what you're going to become. Um, you're going to enter into freedom. It, that's the name that God gave us, Adam Chavachai on Doro Duranon, two honeymoons, and the second one, ours is freedom. Uh, we have honeymoon freedom to do whatever we want. Every and so, but keep in mind also, a day is a thousand years. Um, and what I was going to say, um. There was something else I was saying before when I started this. That, um... Um... Let me see, um... I think I was going to rebuke something. But I guess it doesn't matter <clears throat> because it doesn't really matter because um, it's the same old thing, really. And we don't want to repeat ourselves. And some people just want attention. Okay, so uh, you're going to branch out. You're going to reach the high heavens. And also, you're going to be not stuck in one place you're going to be a bird creature you're going to be a butterfly creature you're going to have powers godly powers to 
to as the angel creatures of revelation with wings i think um there's also mentioned ezekiel 1 and wherever it's mentioned with angels with wings and creatures around the throne of god uh we're going to have that capability we're going to have wings we're going to um multiply and add to ourselves and and um because that's how we're going to accomplish and so no you're not a piece of meat you're going to um what i'm going to do is show you you're going to go out into freedom and you're going to do whatever you want okay and that goes for god's sons too and boys and girls and um this whole thing is based on freedom and it's in the love of god it's in salvation and he brings freedom and maybe we should look that maybe we should um what was i going to read i was going to read um i think it was this one Let me see if I have it. Uh, my wife. I think I was talking. Oh yeah, my wife. That's what I was talking about. Kedah, crystal. Um, crystals right here, Kedah. And um, oh yeah, that's what I was saying. And some people, some people think that. Uh, me, I wouldn't sell. I wouldn't trade betray Jesus for anything or anybody. I wouldn't betray Jesus for anything, anybody. That's what he requires in the Gospels. In the New Testament, Luke 14, uh, we're supposed to hate everything and serve God. The first commandment, the whole thing is based on loving God first. So we can't run to girls. We can't run to guys and friends. You can't run to the world. Um, and we're not crying over spilled milk. I'm talking about myself. Uh, I'm not going to run. I'm not going to run to guys to girls I'm not gonna run to the world I just run to Jesus and he takes care of everything okay. and he takes care of our future okay so some people some people uh, think they have access and the right to wives and women because of letters and no you don't because you're not a king you're not even a born-again Christian and you're a filthy, disgusting person. You're a Nephilim. You're a defect, a reject, a snake, a reptile, a reptilian. You don't have no authority of God in heaven to go out to the earth and start touching people's wives or children. And that that's Babylon. That means you're babbling nonsense and your honeymoon was in the earth. Which it's not really your honeymoon. It's not really nothing God gave you. But you may, it's prophecy that the the snakes would go out to the world and touch everything. That's the beast of Babylon. That the Bible says come out of, come out of it. Okay. Um, these guys can't come out of it now. So you see what happened? These guys can't come out of Babylon. They're stuck forever. And that's what happens when you go after God's children. When you go after the church, when you go into the church... When you go into the church, start corrupting the church with voodoo, witchcraft, and you're with the synagogue of Satan, and you go into... That's the worst thing you need to do, is play games with God. You don't join Satan and start going to the church and start touching everything and start doing these things. You're a snake, and, and that's what a snake would do. Me, the real king, the one... There's only one king in the kingdom of Israel. And go go throughout the Bible. Um, there was only around Ahab, around Ahab's time, there was Yehoshaphat in the south of Judah, and then Ahab in the northern Israel. The most there was two, but that and King David became um, King David became um, he was king of Israel. Solomon was king of Israel. There's one king. Okay, there's not two kings. And so now there's one king. Okay. 
and so I'm the only one that gets a honeymoon if you get married if you get married to a wife and you go on honeymoon that's your business but it really God doesn't honor it because you're in the mob you're in the beast of Satan there's no holy matrimony in Satan that's just ridiculous okay so um so you see what happens boys and girls when some people with no talent no anointing no special gifts just a bunch of checkers behind them and Rome uh, the Roman Empire pushing nonsense who deny Jesus Rome gathers all the people of the world who deny Jesus all together they renounce Jesus okay they push these they push this nonsense and that's who's behind this the Roman Empire the Roman Eagles behind all this stuff these guys are not born-again Christians they're agents of Rome doing their puppets they're fall guys they're fulfilling Revelation 13 and um, the lamb that talks like a dragon Satan he pretends he says he's born again Christian but he points everyone to the first beast you know Revelation 13 we'll go to it next let me just um, type it in the first beast uh, the second one comes out of the the land uh, Revelation 13 11 and then I saw another beast rising out of the earth it had two horns because it's a goat it's not a lamb but it, it, it tries to look like a lamb a sheep but it speaks like Satan the dragon the serpent okay so he speaks satanic things he doesn't speak anything godly okay and so let's look at this it says to the chief musician and to the sons and daughters of Kerach my wife and myself okay in Psalm 44 1 I'm probably going to we'll type it in again because Facebook look what Facebook just did It just took me back over there. Oh, Psalm 44, 1. You guys are witnesses how they just erase everything. A psalm of prophecy for uh, the chief musicians. We're all going to be musicians anointed in heaven. We're all going to be anointed to, for song and dance. We're going to write songs. We're going to freestyle songs. We're going to be... It's a party for eternity. And... um. Adam and Chris children and the bald king uh, because he shaves he, I don't have locks as the Nazarene uh, because Ezekiel actually shaves his head and so uh, we already did that video the bald king with Kedah crystal and the queen of Israel crystal Adam crystal Duran, the king and queen of Israel with our ears we have heard you God the Elohim Father Yehovah Son and Holy Spirit and obeyed you Yehovah because even our forefathers of Israel have written and spoken to us about you through the scriptures and all the great and wonderful works which you have done in their days and now you Elohim God have done even greater and more wonderful works for Kadam Yaakov Christo Duran in the ancient of days in the ancient of days meaning before after time of the earth with many moons and earths to populate um, with many moon queens to populate earths so I guess I'll fix that <clears throat> with many with many moon queens to populate earth earths Okay, and so this is what it says. Okay, and like I said, it's not a letter game. It's a word. It's a it's a works. 
And there's only one king of Israel. There's not many. That's the beast. The Revelation 13. Okay. Uh, so let's open that. Just a reminder. We got to go over it and over and over and over because they constantly schmelt and they like to erase the memory of people. Okay, so I saw rising out of the sea of the beast, first one, having ten horns, seven heads, and on its ten horns it had ten crowns, upon its heads names of blasphemy. And the beast that I saw was like, oh, okay, stop right there. It names of blasphemy. Blasphemy is when um, you blaspheme against God and you say you're God. You say you're a creator, that's blasphemy. When someone says they're a maker, that's blasphemy. When somebody wants to be praised and worshiped through the Bible letters, that's blasphemy. Um, and so blasphemy is saying, someone saying they're Jesus Christ on earth, the vicars of Christ of the Roman Empire, that's blasphemy. For these guys to say they're angels and gods, and me the king, that's blasphemy. And also to, to lead people to false religions and false gods, that's blasphemy. And so we already did that video. What is blasphemy? Um, I'll just type it in real quick. Um, it's everything that is exalted over God. What it okay? Everything that's exalted over God. So this is 2018. If you see capital letters 2018, I wasn't aware that you guys uh, looked at that. So I'm not going to go back and fix it. Uh, I do it as um, so you can see it better, emphasizing. Okay. Uh, so I don't I don't do cough 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 secrecy. I don't do secrecy. I do in your face. I'll tell you to your face. I'll tell you straight up. You're you have to confess Jesus. You have to confess Jesus with your mouth, the Bible says. Um, I don't have secrecy. I'm, I'm not by no means. And everybody knows me. I rebuke the beast. I don't, I don't say what they want me to say. So these are the names of blasphemy. Okay. Uh, and God bless you, every one of the religions seeking God. But I'm talking about the founding, the conspiracy of them telling Jehovah's Witnesses only 144,000 could get saved. Or Jesus is, Jesus is um, Michael the Archangel, or Jesus and Satan are brothers, and whatever the religions are are saying, they're just adding things that's not true. Okay, um, Jesus doesn't have any brothers. We're his brothers. Okay, we're exalted as the brothers of Jesus Christ. So you can go ahead and Google that. We are Jesus' brothers. He's okay. We are his family. But these are just names of blasphemy. Okay. And let's type in queens and I think guards. And so, and let me check this out again. And I'll just let you look at the letters. Lam Nasiach Lebine Kirach in Adonai Durada Mashkil the Elohim in B Azanenu in Shamanu Abotinu in Siperu Lanu Poal Paal Ta B Mehem in Bimi Kadam Bimi Kimi God Kadam and so you can see there's Adam and Crystal Kirach Kadam the ancient man and Bimi Kimi and all the sephat, all the sephat, 
calling I'm calling in in Sapar Shofar and calling the horny queens I, I'm reading out their names I don't have to read the whole world but I do as many as I can when I see it <clears throat> and so that's what it says for the sons and daughters of the ancient man Kadam Duran of these the sufficient the sufficient one He's sufficient with power and anointing and authority of God, as Paul the Apostle of the Fortress, 2 Corinthians 12, who is smelted by needles of messengers of Satan. In 2 Corinthians 11 and 12, there are false apostles around who are made famous, and they are actually nothing. Okay, okay so let's get back to the topic. This one says... Uh, 2 Kings 25 8. In the days of the weeks and the months of the seven years of the first part of the tribulation of the church, the trouble of Jacob Israel in King Adam Andrew Duran was made a preparation for the second life in second and third heavens. The second heavens is his honeymoon, and the third is the kingdom of God, and they are both adjoining. Okay. Malek Adonai Omdoro Duran Shalom Yeshua is able to make kings and queens, prince and princesses, rulers during their jubilee years. So jubilee in um, Leviticus 25.10, it means the returning of God's property, bringing back to God what is God's, okay, and bringing back to the owner of the land, the property. We're able to make queens in kings, prince, and princesses, rulers during their jubilee years, in their return and restoration period of regeneration as God's property and heritage of people being redeemed to Himself. Okay, so this is paid for and this is paid for and provided by God Himself and Yeshua. And uh, he who the last king who the last king brings the final revival. He brings the final. Um, not the final salvation because the final salvation is in the great tribulation after the rapture but he brings the final revival he brings the final um, he's the last king the last third great king tower of salvations second Samuel 2251 and he does a mighty mighty work for the Lord and what I know I'm just sharing what I know and I didn't always know this and so um, he's able to make kings and queens, prince and princesses, rulers during their jubilee years in their return and restoration period uh, as God's property and heritage of his people being redeemed to himself, God, in Yeshua, Moshiach. Melech Adonai on Doro Deron Nebo Echad Nassad is king, owner, and shepherd, and prophet, and priest who set free the flocks of Israel and Araba Ishmael. And he guards them from evil men, liars, false ones. He is the prophet priest, there it is right there, and king during this time that Babylon and the beasts of Satan has come onto the scene, uh, has appeared. In Melech Adonai on Doro Duron Nebon and Zera Adan Ki Bet Ganadin Matiak, he is the key holder and the great servant guard. And the king of Israel in the earth and Jerusalem and has been given a great reproducing holy seed in Baya Elohim for his wives. And um, everyone going producing will have as we did um, Exodus 35 and 40. Everyone must have that seed. Holy Spirit babies. Oh, so let me see if I could read the 25.8. Uh, 2 Kings 25.8. 2 Kings 25.8. So the point of this is, shh, quiet. Um, the queens and princesses are not pieces of meat, but they're going to be in freedom. They're going to be in freedom. They're going to be rulers. They're going to cast down judgment on the last remnant of the wicked, unrepentant in the earth. We're going to uh, 
they're going to do whatever they want to do but they are definitely made for breeding uh, but you know so everything is going to be um, when we get to where we're going when we get to second heaven and third heaven there's not going to be any um, there's not going to be any worry wonder doubts uh, a days a thousand years so there's going to be time travel we're going to be dating for a thousand years we'll be dating for a thousand years before we even do anything so so technically a princess would be a thousand years old but she's not going to grow old she's just going to still stay the same uh, but also we'll be, we'll have different um we have the capability of being different ages we can be kids we're going to be able to be kids children playing we're go we're going to be students and learning from Jesus forever we're going to be junior high high school college kids we're going to be elders and we will grow old but not um, we're not going to be wrinkled we're just going to have white hair as elders around the throne of God it's going to show our wisdom we're going to have kind of like storm from X-Men we're going to um, have different um, different roles okay so um, and so the topic of this is I'm trying to find the um, setting up guards in Bichodeshim, Bichamisha, in Hachamisha, Bisheba, Lechodesh, He, Hu, He, Shana, Tesha, Eshe, El Shana, La Malek, Neboha, Nezad, Malek, mean, mean, a babble, mean, mean babble, not a bell. And uh, this one says, uh, there's are of Babel and the Malek of Babel Ba in Nebozara Don in Rab Tabachim Ebed Malek Babel in Yerushalayim Amin Yishaya Ar Yerushalayim Chadasha. Okay, so I have the four, there's actually four interpretations for this one. And which we read. Okay, next. I see something here. Yeah, I'm looking for this one. They will become governors, presidents, rulers everywhere. Uh, I have to say, I have to add royal armies. Kings, queens, uh, princes, princesses, and rulers. Okay, um, let me read this six four. Let me read this. Daniel 6 4 first because it's kind of confusing when you read it second and Adin like Allah Din an exalted one Allah Din Adam Allah Ezekiel 126 and Kedach also 122 Ezekiel um, and it's like Aladdin on the flying carpet but it's the flying scroll it's a uh, 
מגילה, תמלך המגילה, כדבש מתוק, התמלה, מגילה, אפה, יש אפליין שקרול, it's edible, we eat it, we eat the words of God, it's sweet, but it's also a carpet that we, that we, we fly on the carpet, we have, a, we have flying scrolls, we have flying carpets, and uh, even now, I'm on the flying carpet, because I'm sending the word to the world, and the angels accomplish the word of God, and Adam Allah Allah Deen, Adam Allah Adin Adayin, um, also talking about judgment, he has good judgment and discernment. Sarekaya, Sarekaya, and Panea, Hawo, Beayin, Ela, Lehashka, Lehashkaha, Le Daniel, Misad, Makota, Wea Akal, Wea Ela, and Ushehita, La Yakelin. Lehash Kaha Ka Kabala in the Meheman Aman who we call Shalu Ushehita La and his his Kahat in Alohi and Adam Aladin Duran. Adan Duran, who writes the scroll. So it's right there. Adan, Adin, and Dar Panea. And it has Dar Panea. And he sends word. And he basically, uh, I'm a messenger who makes messengers. This is where it starts. Uh, uh, where it, this is like square two. Square one. It's coming into the presence of God in worship. Jesus Christ, Lamb of God. We enter in God through Jesus. And we, we enter in right away as a priesthood of worshipers and prayer warriors. We pray for people. Okay, the more we pray for people, and the more people we get to pray for. Well, those people are our, those are our kingdom people. So if we're not saving people, you don't get a kingdom. So this is why I get everything because I saved everybody and everybody else ran to the world, right? To live their life with the beast. So nevertheless, I'm restoring everything for everybody, but I'm just trying to explain how it works. Okay, so the more, the more souls we save, the more souls are more flocks, the more sheep are in our flocks, okay? And so, when we go, we're going to enter in priesthood deeper, and then you're going to go out as a person on a flying scroll. You're going to become a messenger, carrying out word and carrying out messages. You're going to become a messenger. Okay, you're going to become a messenger to many people. The more people, the more messages you go and send, the more uh, your flocks. Those flocks will become your churches. That means you're a pastor, teacher, evangelist, carrying the word of God, and you're now an apostle over churches of the earth. So it all starts, as as they say, down in the mail room. You know, in the corporate buildings? I mean, what was that movie with, uh, with the Damon Wayans, or who was it? The movie, Marlon and Damon Wayans, where they were, they started in the mail room or something. Uh, Mo money, Ada money. This one, okay. Mo money, Ada money. Very prophetic. Or in Burgundy, um, not, uh, not the storyline, okay. Uh, but the fact that he started in the mail room. I think it was. They were in the mail room, were they? mailroom manager
says he acquires the same building working for an executive who plans to use his skills for more and who is the one in the mail room I'm trying to see if it was this movie and I don't know what's going on with the signal as you can see it's stuck and I clicked to read it all and it's just doing nothing Trying to see if that was the movie with the mailroom. Somebody, there's a couple of movies of with the mailroom. Uh, he becomes a mailroom clerk. Chris Fields trains Johnny how to do the job. He discovers how to woo this girl. He develops a scheme. Okay. Okay, yeah, so he was in a, a, a mailroom, right? He becomes a mailroom clerk. He trains somebody. So something like that where not not we don't need credit cards we don't need um but as you can see there's cards k hard d and there's money on the money k hard d so that's interesting if we look at the letters if we look at the letters um <laughs> he says deceased car holders <laughs> He gets the credit card information of deceased card holders. And um, and so um and so he's a mess he starts in the messenger room, a mail a mail room, mail, you know, like a mailman, a messenger. And so that's where it starts. And that's interesting. A card, card holders, and more money, out of money. And he's wearing red and gold. Wow, that's interesting. D, D, ma, D, da, ma, on, way, ya, on, so. Duran, Adam, ma, on, Adam, money. <laughs> that's so funny <laughs> so uh, he wins the car not him but me I win the cars uh, they were created for this we were made for this uh, so there it is right there Adin Dar Adan Dar or Da Momani Adan Mani Adan Mani uh, we don't need money we own everything that's the point of this uh, but that's symbolic kind of like um, coming to America where um, he has his own money and coming to America so you see how um, he had his own money 100 pounds he has his own money you remember how he had these big fat gold chains he has all these everything and he has his own money and he had a kingdom do you remember the beginning of the movie he it shows the whole kingdom jungle and the fortress and so we don't need money in the movie they just used money because he was going out to the world to find his queen a king okay. so that's me Nabi Akin, King Akin, who establishes heaven and I resurrect the queens from the dead. They're all mummy. They were mummies. Uh, God's daughters, they were like sleeping beauties. So kind of like the movie Mummy. I don't know if the movie Mummy had where you kissed the... 
I don't know if any of the movie mummies had where you kiss the a mummy and it comes back to life. But let me. Uh, so there's this movie, The Mummy's Kiss. I never seen it. I'm not sure what it is, but uh, it's not that way. Whatever it shows, um, but it's the mummy is the girl, the queens, and they were they were dead in sins and trespasses and the curse, um, so to speak, until they were revived back to life, like Sleeping Beauty, and um, and. But I did find also um, The Mummy Returns. So I want to see if I can watch this movie. I want to see if I can watch this movie. Shut up. So, um, so the king, he does, we don't need money because we own everything. Uh, so of course we don't need money. We own everything. And he resurrects God's daughters back to life out of the beast. They put that in. They put that in the Disney mo cartoons. They put that in the movies, and um, it might be twisted the other way where um, the guy's a mummy or, or whatever it shows in the movie. That's not it. Uh, what it what it is is the king, a king. He has the kingdom. Uh, myself, Nabi Akim, Deuteronomy one eight one eight. Uh, he speaks the words Debarim Deuteronomy in Hebrew he speaks the words to resurrect the bones in Ezekiel 37 there's some words there and instructions and he takes all the sticks he takes the whole house of Israel okay me the king Akim uh, Nabi Akim with an M I resurrect them and king Akim with an N I establish them in the heavens I resurrect them it's Melek Akim Nabi Akim. Or I should say, Nabi Akim Melek Akim. Okay, so uh, Deuteronomy 1818, Akim with the M is the prophet, and Melek Akim, Ezekiel 1, that's the king. Uh, it's not, it's it's uh, with the A, not with a Y. So it changes to Akim. I establish them, I resurrect them as prophet. As a prophet priest anointed, I resurrect them, God's people, the house of Israel, and then I establish them in the heavens and appoint them. And that's what we're doing. We're saving souls and giving them the kingdom. It's it, there's a, That's exactly what the prophecy says to do and what God says to do. So, we're doing salvation. So checkers as you can see when you go on instagram they're going to be doing something else they're going to be promoting uh something that's not what we're promoting okay uh, so let's look at it let's see what comes up on the news feed okay let's see that's not it that's the search let's see what comes up on the news feed and God bless you, everybody on Instagram. We're just looking to see. That's nice. That looks very. That looks very, very heavenly. That's nice. Looks nice. Oh, that's beautiful. Bird creatures. Heavenly bird creatures. Beautiful. Cute. And mm, what does it say? Mm, you're right. No Jesus there. Uh, we're going up into the heavens. 
they're staying down here. Oh yeah. Uh, so we're talking about yesterday another thing. That's nice. That Jesus is coming for his crown. Jesus is coming for his throne. It's not here, so to speak. Okay. And uh, basically, I feel sorry for anybody claiming to be God. In other words. Uh, Midnight Muse, I feel sorry for those guys claiming to be gods and false prophets and false everything. It's not a, the Bible's nothing to play with. I want to document this and show it to Jesus. I'm going to send this to Jesus. Jesus, can you look what they're telling your daughters? That they're gods, midnight gods and muse. Look what they're telling your daughters, Jesus. Look at these guys are still going at it, Jesus. Just leave them. He says, just leave them. Just, the, ooh, shut up, Okay. So they have, so they have Shauna representing, I don't want to say that word, God bless her soul. And God bless your soul. But as you can see, As you can see, that's what they're about. Not the girls, but the mob, right? The mob is really satanic because look, it's right there. Okay, so you can see it for yourself. You just go all over the TV, go all over Instagram. You can see these guys, the girls are fine. But the guys are doing sat Satanism. They're not getting in the kingdom. So all this is for nothing. Taking night pictures. And there's no nighttime in heaven. But still they do it. You see what I'm saying? Still they do it. And there's nothing wrong with taking pictures at night. But you already know what they're putting. Midnight muse. and You already know that they're worshipping. Uh, false gods and brought to you by checkers okay the checkers liars and so the the Humpty Dumpty who sat on the wall Humpty Dumpty had a great fall all the king's horses all the beasts could not put Humpty Dumpty back together again okay so you sit on the wall of Babylon and it comes down as the Bible says there it goes right there. You know what the Bible says, and there's the girls. He's thinking about the girls. He's daydreaming. He's daydreaming about the girls. Uh, I just gotta have her. I just gotta have the girls. He's wearing the hat. He thinks he's the hat. He thinks he's someone special. And then boom, falls off the wall. And there are beasts. The checkers are trying to put them back together. They're trying to fix the beast. They're trying to fix the the beast and it's not going to be fixed it's over why because of the dreams of their own dreams following their own dreams following their own hearts uh, doing whatever they wanted to do and still living as gods false gods okay um, this one is uh, I was going I don't have a photoshop around my thing I was going to put a pawn on the earth a pawn on the earth and the king over here in a different world on a different plateau and it's a checkmate there's no way out the earth because the earth is a volcano and there's nowhere to go there's nowhere to go literally nobody can leave earth if they build a spaceship they're gonna run out of air eventually it's not gonna last so the only thing people can do is submit to Jesus Christ and confess it. Confess the true gospel. Confess the true God. Okay, we're not we're not worshiping non gods. And people who are not even close to being gods. You know what I'm saying? Like people who could sing and dance and, and people who are, who are anointed. And they're not gods, but you know they got some godliness. They got some anointing you know what I'm saying we're not gonna bow down to something that's not God's okay so um, 
What else did I post? Uh, wives, and queens, and princesses will be queens of armies. That's the topic. Queens of armies. So let's go read that. Um, I guess I gotta type it in again because, as you can see, it's not here. And shout out to Sewa Eti Lato, Adam. Adam's your preacher and your speaker. Adam's your microphone. And you can come pray to Jesus. Jesus hears you over here. Jesus don't. And don't worry about it. I prayed for you. You're good. And Jesus don't hear them over there. So they're all worldly, earthly. They think they need a microphone. They think they need cars and trucks. And they think they need, um, you know, they think they need earthly things as like a symbol. And that's not it. That is not it. It's all spiritual. A black and white car, a siren, a, a flashing light. Uh, you know what I'm saying? All this stuff is earthly. It's all stupid rituals. Anybody born again Christian knows the difference. A born again Christian knows the difference between earthly and spiritual. Okay, the topic is. Did I read the whole, uh, the verse? Let me see. Yeah, I did. And so, Daniel 6, 4. Allah din duran ahazdar panea. He writes the scroll. He writes the carpet. A like jasmine, yashaman. Uh, jasmine in Aladdin. He writes the scroll. And does everything God tells him to do. Uh, he's also uh, the prophet uh, with the name Daniel, meaning my judge is God. Okay, I'm here working for God. I'm not here working for you. I'm working for God. I'm hired by the kingdom. I'm a son of the son of God. I'm born again. In other words, I don't work for you. I, I work for God, and I'm your servant. I serve you, God's word and salvation, but you, you didn't hire me. God hired me. God's my boss. So that's where the name Daniel comes in. And meaning, I don't work for man. And I work to save man. I work for God. And Adam Daniel Duran and all your sons and daughters and myself, and we're going to make royal rulers. Our sons will be royal guards in every place, guarding. Um, by queens and princesses, and they will become royal armies, um, governors, presidents, kings, queens, princes, princesses, um, <coughs> rulers everywhere. Because Adin Ahaz Darpanea has seized the kingdoms of the heavens and has been given, and has become his prayers discovered by God. They are discovered by God. And let me fix this. It has become his prayers. Discovered by God, everything Adam Dudon asks for, I don't really ask for anything. Uh, anything Adam Dudon asks for and, and prays for is done because his prayers have power and are given charge. And my God is my judge to my side everywhere I go in his kingdoms and in my kingdoms. Kadam Dariosh, 
and prayers have charge and there is no fault in them and I pray for the people I pray for the people and um, have no fault in them and God the Elohim is faithful to answer every prayer of his because Kadam Darosh is a faithful son and servant to him and there isn't ever any error or fault found in him because that's just how it is when you serve God when you serve God he he looks at you blameless okay and I don't serve myself and I'm here to speak the blessings of life to the people and as you can see uh, I don't I don't see anybody returning the prayers I don't see anybody uh, sending me any messages when I send messages to uh, hundreds of people um, nobody really sent me anything back when I prophesy something nice nobody responds and I'm okay with that uh, I'm not complaining but I'm just saying um, I, I'm consistent I'm not a, um, I, I'm the prayer warrior um, Jesus prays for me Jesus intercedes for me and he takes care of everything and so as you can see that there's probably nobody praying for me which Jesus only Jesus and myself so as I pray for the world and bless the world um, the checkers have the world cursing me right they're trying to curse me there's nobody no or people are scared to people are scared to be associated um, people will probably be penalized I guess whatever they do to you guys whatever they do to you guys to um, continue to act evil to be um, a traitor of Jesus and hater of God and to be so demonic and satanic why is that the checker you see this is a joke as they claim to have they don't have no kings they got no gods no king they don't got nothing on their side nothing it's fake okay they got nothing no anointing no talent nothing uh, and these guys claim to have something special but they're all Satanists for one they're all Satanists and you can tell when you just go on the internet it's all satanic rebellion so if the checkers have gods and kings then how come the whole world's not serving Jesus why how why are they renouncing Jesus why is everyone blaspheming Jesus and the Holy Spirit exactly the checkers are Satanists so nobody wants to hear the sirens nobody wants to hear the sirens and see flashing lights nobody wants to hear what any Instagram has to say about Jesus or who's God and who's King because you're not telling the truth it's all bribery it's all for sale everybody on the internet is for sale it's all Judas and well God bless everybody but I'm just saying this is what they're trying to turn everyone into a Judas they're just turning people into Judases and to try to curse them. Nobody's promoting Jesus Christ, the gospel, nowhere. Where's Jesus at? Just on my page, all the prophecies right here. And they're talking about loyalty. They're not loyal to nothing but to themselves. And traitor to betray Jesus. Oh, God bless you. That's nice. And to betray Jesus, to be a traitor of God, and then to, to use the word loyalty, that doesn't make any sense, does it? It doesn't make any sense to betray Jesus and to betray Jesus and then talk about loyalty 
doesn't make any sense. Where's Jesus at? There's no Jesus nowhere. Okay. There's no Jesus anywhere. God bless you guys, God's daughters. Okay. They're, so they're not representing Jesus. They're doing what they're told. And that's how it is everywhere around the world. So who's wrong and who's right? I'm right. I serve Jesus. I'm speaking blessings. I'm doing the salvations. Um, I'm getting rewarded for it. I'm not. I'm not doing it for that. I'm doing it because I have to save the world. And that's what I did. I canceled Satan and the Beast. Okay, so it says. And so his prayers are discovered by God. Everything I ask for, and I'm only praying for people right now. Everything else is added. I'm not. I have no worries, um, except for um, my wife and daughter, and for um, all God's sons and daughters. But everyone's good, and spiritually speaking. Um, just I hope everyone's all right. I hope everyone's all right. Um, Earthly speaking, you know, I hope there's no um, jealous, Satanist jealous out there and trying to harass my wife or daughter. I hope there's no checkers out there abusing their power because I don't really talk to them. They don't really allow them to talk to me when I call them. So um, everyone's scared of the checkers. Everyone's, everyone's programmed. And so, um, God, God hears my prayers. I pray for everybody. And because, um, that's where it's at. Uh, a priest offers sacrifices for the people. And we don't do animal sacrifices. We do the blood of Jesus. We do prayers and supplication of grace and mercies. And... So when we serve the people, um, God sees this, and we become great in the kingdom. If you know, if we serve ourselves, and there's no reward in that. The Bible says that's all you get. Jesus says, when you serve yourself, like or when someone gives to the poor, when somebody gives to the poor and announces it, and that's all they get. When somebody is um, when somebody's being rewarded for whatever they're doing, serving themselves, that's all they get. That's what the Bible says. That's what Jesus says, and that's what the Bible says in the New Testament. That when people serve themselves, that's all they get. Okay, uh, but I don't serve myself. I serve the world. I serve the world, God's word, what he's saying and what he's going to do. And that's what, that's the real ministry. That's what a preacher does. That's what a priest does. That's what a king does. That's what a prophet does. That's what the apostle of the churches does. He's going to keep the church informed and updated on God's word. Okay, so... Um, there's no one else who can do it and for different reasons because checkers won't won't allow people so I have to do it and so there's basically it's basically no reason to argue and anyone who says he's a god no you know Jesus is God don't say that you're a blasphemer if somebody says I'm not the king they're the king of Israel no you're not you're a satanist don't say that and you can't do what I do because they won't let you. You're a false god. You're you're a Satanist and a false god. You can't do what I do. So don't even pretend 
Don't even try and pretend that you can do what I do. In Kadam Dario's prayers have charge and there is no fault. We already read that, right? Okay, let's go to another one. In setting up guards. And so, it's not that the daughters need them. I might read this one. It's not that they need protection because they don't. They're not going to need protection. God's daughters are going to be so powerful, so godly, and so powerful. Um, they don't need it, but it's how it's going to be. Uh, it's going to be uh, the queens and princesses are going to be highly guarded. They're going to be having many servants. Uh, men servants and women servants daughters of God marry their brother uh, this is part of prophecy that I'm sure many people have taken out of context and done something with each other brothers and sisters knowing the prophecy um, or something like gladiator where the guy was trying to kiss his sister or something and um, it's not his actual sister uh, the king prophecy it's the sisters, meaning the church, meaning the king is a born again Christian. He's not a anything else. He's not a he's not of the satanic brotherhood. That's that would make no sense. God's God's guy is not from the lodge of Satan. He's not a fake Freemason, Luciferian, a, a false light worker or anything like that. Um, because they don't really shine light. They they know some things they. They knew some prophecies or some, the guy's a preacher, the guy's a guard, the guy's a barber, the guy's a, a mailman, the guy's a this. It's all spiritual. Okay, yeah, he's a born-again preacher. He's born again. He has to have Holy Spirit power. Um, daughters of God marry their brother uh, in the Lord, Adonai Yehoah. Uh, Adonai Yehoah. In Adonai Yehoah, and who is a born again Christian, Pentecostal prophet, preacher, king, and priest, Melek Adon Duradon Shalom Yeshua? He's not a witch, Satan is. There is no holy matrimony of marriage in the beast mob of Satan, right? Because they blaspheme Holy Spirit, they blaspheme God. So, of course, God's not with them, okay? And God's with us. We don't we don't blaspheme God or the Holy Spirit. In the Song of King Solomon 5 1, I have come from my beautiful, lovely divine gardens, my sisters, and King Adonai Dilan Shalom Yehovah Yeshua, and my wives I have gathered myrrh with spices and the best aroma, and we will eat honeycomb of my honey. We shall drink my wine and my milk, and we will eat with my lovers, and we will drink of them. And deeply drink of my beloveds, my queens. And I see a. And so this is a prophecy from King Solomon. And this is uh, Nabi Akim, Deuteronomy 1818. Nabi Akim, Adam Deuteronomy, the preacher, prophet, king, and priest, resurrected the bones of Adonai Yehovah. The mummy, the church, and Israel is the church. We're all together, united. And the Israel is the church, and the church is Israel. And also the woman represents the woman with crowns of Revelation 12 is the queens of the king and princesses. And Nabi Akim Adam Dudadam. Let me fix that too. But um, Nabi Akin and Adonai Adonai Duradon. I resurrected the bones 
I am has raised him from among the born again Christian brothers to bring back to life believers such as Kima Kimoka Koeli because I have put my words in his mouth of Adam Duran, Nabi Akim Melek Akim, Ezekiel Yechesikio, who strengthens them with words, it's like blowing, kissing, kissing the queen, kissing the church woman, I'm kissing, I'm blowing, he's the blower, like Beyonce song, the blower, he blows in life back into them, and through the word of God. He is the speaker of my word to them who uh, believe. Adonai Duran is commander of my people. And let's look at that. In Deuteronomy 1818, this is the law of God. Torah Yahweh Yeshua Moshe. Nabi Akim Ahem Mikereb Ahem Kimoka Wenatati Debarai BP. And where the bed I him it call a shed si wanu a saw my new and so he's talking about the brotherhood. Okay. Which brotherhood is it? Is it the fake Freemasons of Satan? Witches and liars all over the internet, all over commercials? Is it talking about them? No, of course not. Don't be silly. That's why they play with letters so they can fool you guys. The prophet is a born again Christian. Holy Spirit filled Pentecostal me I'm a Holy Spirit filled speaking in tongues Pentecostal not a faker skudapa 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 I'm not a fake a Satanist witch with fake tongues like those guys skudapa 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 they're fake it's fake no okay um Nabi Akim I have raised for Kima, for Kimoka, and Dabarai BP. He's the VP. I'm the Vice President of the President Jesus. And what does it say, BP? Uh, Ezekiel, uh, Ezekiel 3, I mean, Ezekiel uh, 37, 3, is it? Is it uh, R3, Ezekiel 3, the watchman? Ezekiel 3 3. BP is Ben Adam. He eats the tamales. I eat tamale. I make tamales. And the Megillah, the flying scroll. I give to you, Adam, Ben Adam Duran. And he gives me the sweet honey in my mouth of the word, right? So do you guys know what the word is? The word is what God is saying. Okay. So Ezekiel, in other words, Ezekiel is not going to have another person. Uh, God gave the word to Ezekiel. Ben Adam Ezekiel Nabi. Ezekiel did the word. So you can go through Ezekiel 4. And you can go through Ezekiel 5. He said, lay on your left side for the iniquities of the house of Israel. Prophesy for those days that I tell you. Okay? I prophesy. I can't tell them. Uh, you're free from your iniquities in Jesus. But and the point is, he told Ezekiel to do this. To lay on the side. Okay? So that's what I did. I did this already. And through the pandemic. Or since... um. Yeah, it's just that I already did all this. I've been prophesying. Okay, so uh, beyond for way more more days than that. And I still do it. So he told Ezekiel to do this. He didn't he didn't send uh, a prophet thief to go steal it and oh no, he can't do it because he's not a checker, so we're gonna do it. No, I already did this. Nobody's calling nobody's calling checkers. God's not talking to them. He's talking to me. There's nobody else. Because they're liars. They can't be trusted. You can't trust those guys. They're liars. They got everyone in the beast. So 
that's now we're getting out of the beast. Okay. And he said in Hosea 1 2, uh, Hosea 12 13, Yehosha and Yahweh Yeshua, Adonai Judah, prophet, king from above, has brought them out of uh, the beast slavery of Egypt. In Egyptian, in Egyptian, why did you say that? And, um, let's see, of uh, beast slavery in Egypt. And he also guards Israel, A.D., New Jerusalem people. Adam Hosha Duran began his ministry of the word of Yehovah Yeshua and said to Adam Hosha Duran, go and take for yourselves wives from the great harlot prostitute of the beast and marry, marry them. Marry them and marry all God's daughters. Also take their children and save them, dash them into the rock. I did that. This goes, you guys know where this is going. Take the children and dash them into the rock. In Psalms. Because great is the harlotry and the prostitution in the earth with false gods. With false gods. And give me a space, dude. And the beast model of Satan has strayed them away. From following after me, Yehovah said, "Well, what Yeshua Hamashiach," and that's why. You see, Instagram is satanic and full of lies. That's why I had to marry them. I had to marry God's daughters because Instagram's full of lies and commercial. It's not godly. TV, nothing anywhere is godly. Everything has been. The checkers is working hard, squirming trying to lead people to hell <laughs> it's not funny but that's what they're trying to do if they're leading you to a false god to worship some some of these guys names matthew peter michael japanese jesus and they're leading you to a false gods who have no talent or anointing it's just the pits that's the pits that's the pit that's the pit of hell now you know this that's abomination. It's like kissing a statue. It does nothing. Why would you kiss a statue? Does it walk? Does it talk? Does it breathe? Does it sing? No. It doesn't do nothing. So they pick the worst of the worst, and you gotta and they want you to worship a person with no talent. That's ridiculous. So this is why he says this to marry them, because they strayed them away from God. Okay, and it, so let's go look. Let's go look. Oh, God bless you, God's daughter. That's beautiful. I like it. Who's that? Is that Trina? Oh, it is Trina. Oh, yeah, I gotta take a picture of that. And God bless you, God's daughter. And so, they strayed them away so far in the wrong way. And they don't really care because they don't have the Holy Spirit. They don't have they don't have the Holy Spirit to even care about souls. They're just gonna let everyone go to hell. You know what I'm saying? They they're just they were just gonna let the whole world go to hell. You know what I'm saying? That's what they were gonna do. And they're still doing that. They're trying to let everyone go to hell. All these anointed daughters of God. So, um, I'm here to bless them. Especially Trina. Juicy. Especially uh, Dade County. Dodi. Dodi Yahid. Adam Mani. Dodi Yahid. Oh, yeah. Especially Trina Rockstar. Anointed. And, and shout out to Trick Daddy. Shout out to uh, everybody. Dade County. There was a... Um, there's a Christian rapper named G Notes. 
he's from, um, what county he's from? Uh, this guy, this see he's alright. Um, but, um, you know, I don't remember, I don't remember what songs talk about Jesus. I'm trying to remember the, I'm trying to remember the song list. Let me see. I'm trying to remember um, the song list. If what song talk about Jesus? But anyways, I was trying to remember what county he's from too. Okay, so they they strayed the world away. Even the church, even the church got strayed away um, by checkers. So uh, praise God that he's doing this. And so, this is good news. This is, what's my time? 120? 120? 1 point 21 gigawatts. Oh my gosh, 120. Billion, 120 billion children per earth in 6,000 years. Queens, at least, whatever number you want. But that's a good, that's a good number for Adam, 120. 120 yeah time machine uh, so we did this right uh, we did this one uh, we did the Pentecostal we just read this one take uh, dash the kids into the rock That's what I was going to read next, huh? Okay, let's see what this says. Uh, this says, Blessed forever and happy, dark case, dark eyes, and in the way of God, dark a kadam, dark kai, kadamai, and Yeshua HaMashiach, Elohai, and my way is God's way. Okay, ancient, the ancient God. And my ancient God, my way is His way. His way is my way. Okay. And so we are blessed and happy forever in the way of God. In holy eyes, Kadashain. In every every saint is a holy eye, shall see God. In Ganed, everyone shall become a garden candle, ignited, excited, and filled with oil of anointing for God. As they shall go forth to God undefiled and cleansed and blameless and clean and pure with Adam Zake Azaz Duran. In case we are blameless in the fortress of God, to the fortresses and palaces as they are in the law, Torah, Yahweh, Yeshua of love and salvation, and we are in the spirit of life, Romans 8, 2. We are not in, uh, we are not in a law of punishment. We are not under a law of Moses' punishment. We are set free from sin, death, and shame and accusation. Nobody could have accused us of sin because we're not in sin. We're in the eternal covenant. It means we're covered forever. And that's the benefit of being a born again Christian. Is you're a child. You're a child of God forever. Okay, we're we're um we're children of God. Blessed and happy is the prophet king Adam Dalom Shalom Yeshua who has saved and guards Israel from Satan the beast mob of the serpent by six six six. False man gods in the earth, Adam the king guards his testimony and witness of God in the heavens and his witness with all his heart and soul and strength. He also guards Adas, adorable queens and princesses and the congregation. And um, they seek after him for the kingdom of the heavens. They seek after him, y'all. I'll just click this. In Ashre Temime Darke. Kadamai, Darkai, Kadamai, Elohai, Haholekim, B Torah, Yahweh Yeshua, Ashe, Natsar, Nasare, Ada. Did I say the testimony witness? The king guards his testimony witness, yeah. And Ada be called Leb Yidrosh, Yidroshehu, and Yidrosh. 
Yidoroshehu, and he uh, seeks them and he guides them. Okay, in Darash and Darak. So as you can see, Darak and Darash, he he seeks them and he guides them in the way that is undefiled. This way is blameless. So um, this way is blameless, as he tells Abraham in Genesis 17. This what he says, walk with me and be blameless. And that's the benefit of walking with Jesus. We you can't get that nowhere else. You can't get uh, Genesis 17 1 anywhere else. It's going to be It's going to be um, what he says here. Halak panai kadamai darkai darkai kadamai elohai and halak le panai kadamai darkai elohai walk before me in my way, ancient God of mine, ancient God, and be tamim blameless. And that's because we're we're in Jesus, and without Jesus is condemnation. Without Jesus is condemnation. And Dodo, okay. And so the reason for this is because Elohim says to Adam Abraham Duran that he's about to go into the wombs. I'm an Abraham. I'm I'm an Abraham. I'm a father. I'm about to be a father of many nations. And as doing this, Darka Darkai. Um, Darash, Darka, Yahweh Yeshua, and Torah for doing the law of salvation and love for the people. Um, as being the last king, I should have many children. And so he's going to make me an Abraham with many descendants after, in the afterlife, and with many generations. And so there's no worry. Uh, I know it's not here. I don't need to fight. I don't need to scream or shout. I don't need to. Uh, I don't need a revolution against the government or Roman Empire. It's not here. I'm not going to have honeymoon here. You see, this is how genius God is. God is so good. God is so genius. I just have to keep preaching till I'm done, until He comes, and then we go. And that's how good God is. And so. Um, this is the covenant of Ezekiel Ben Adam, Ben Adam Yechesikiel, Ben Adam Darom Hatef Nabi Melek Akin, Nabi Akin, and this is my covenant that I should guard it. And he's telling me, as what he told Abraham, it's between me and you, Adam Duran, okay, and between my future seeds after in the afterlife. And because I circumcised, I circumcised Israel, every um, person of Israel, and every man even, I circumcised their hearts. I did Ezekiel 37 um, and Ezekiel 36. I did this. Um, not glory to me, but I'm saying Ezekiel 36, 26, and 37. Natati lakem lev hadash, berabanu lev hadesh, ruach ruach lev tahe ruach hadesh. In other words, I create in you a clean heart and a new spirit. Okay, a clean heart, new spirit. Atan bekir bekim, we hasiroti et lev ha eben, and mean basharikim. We natati lakem lev basha. 
I took that the stony heart. I took away your stony heart, and now you know God loves you, and now you know about love, and now you know about unconditional love. And where it Ruhi Karashi Atan Bekir Bekin where Ashiti it Ashed Bihukai Teleku Mishpatai Tishmeru where Ashitim and my Holy Spirit I put in you. So that means we're houses of God. This is why uh, this is why God allowed the temple to be destroyed because he sent the Holy Spirit in Acts chapter two. Okay. And we we are we have the spirit. We have the Kaboranan Eshkado Yehoah, Yeshua Ruach Hakodesh Banu Anu Beitim Elohim in Ochal Edut Ochal Moad. We are tents of witness. We are uh, houses of God, and tents of witness, full of the Holy Spirit. And that mean what does that mean? He says right here. This is this is Jewish Bible. This is not the New Testament. This is Jewish Bible. He said he was going to do. He said he was going to put his spirit in his people. And Ben Adam, Ezekiel was going to do it. Okay. He said, he said, Zarakti alikem ma'im tehorim wetehartem minkol temo temotekem. Minko Gelulekim Ataher Etaher Atakim. He said, I'm going to sprinkle on you waters of life, purifying waters. I'm going to cleanse you from all your defiled filthiness of these guys, of the beast, from the checkers. I'm going to clean you from all those idols of false gods. Now you're cleansed. God cleansed you from these idols. So, this is the baptism. This is the circumcision. And meaning you're not going to... You're not going to ever be the same again. Oh, shit, who's there? Okay, let me get back to um, the Royal Guards. And so he sent someone from the fortress to do this job. And the fortress and the Hekel is Yakol. And that means he gives me power to prevail the ability. From the Azaz comes Oz in strength and power and authority from the fortress and you see how it's in the word it's very strange um, how it's in the word that he who God takes to the fortress is the guy and um, like Apostle Paul and like myself and they sing I saw angels singing Luke 14 was that it? let's see queens and guards Queens and armies. So what do you think? You think they're gonna stop promoting lies? <sighs> do you think this is um Malka Kemalak Heli Gadola? Be a bit baldi ain adamarada. This is um Shara Malka Aleha Tapaha Heli Gadola. This is uh This is Shara Malka Aleha Tapaha Malka uh 
Shara Maka, Lehan Tabova, Khaliga Dola. This is, uh, I think that's a video I did that already. <sighs> And this is uh, Abachad, Ayashab, Aisha Khan, Duran Kim, Rosh, Roshas, Kamalex, Begu, Begedud, Bagedud, Kashed, and Abelin, Yenachim. And God says, I chose them. This is the way I chose for them. Uh, it makes sense as. Um, it's not that way you know what I'm saying like God is not going to allow his sons and daughters to go the wrong way God is not going to allow Israel to go to idols forever you know um, if somebody ever thinks that God was going to let his church or Israel or his chosen anointed daughters and sons if somebody thought that they could seduce people with money and riches and fame of hip-hop R&B if somebody some fake Jews at the synagogue of Satan sat in their executive chairs and their synagogues of Satan and sat there and thought these are God's anointed we're gonna rake them in we're gonna bring them all in by the bunches we're gonna find we're gonna send talent scouts the Satanists they sent talent scouts out around the world and they gathered the anointed of God just to entice them into Satan or their synagogue or some fake contract and they thought actually that they were going to win those souls and so it's been cancelled and no you can't have them and these are God's sons and daughters and God bless them and there's no contract over them there's no power of hell there's no power of Satan there's no power of Moab or the beast that's going to overcome us. The gates of hell shall not prevail against us. We are the church. We are not. We are the church of God in Christ Jesus. And we, over, we are superior over the church of Satan. Satan is a scum. Satan is beneath man. Satan and Nephilim, fallen angels, they're beneath a, a human being. So, um... There's no, you know, they thought that they were going to entice people with money and riches and diamonds in their mouth and gold jewelry and uh, music videos and going on tours. And they're going to entice all God's sons and daughters like this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, God, God blessed them and God set them free. And so, uh, God Elohim Yehovah Adonai says... I chose Adam, Duran, Kim, and all my anointed daughters and queen, kings, Kim, Alex. We sat them and we will, s they're pretty much sat in thrones of honor and gold and diamonds and splendor. We have our own jewelry. We have our own jewels in the heavens. And we're full of majesty and honor and glory. And we will make them dwell as kings and queens and princesses. They will rule as heads and make many armies and nations and nourish them. In Psalm of Prophecy 84, 2, I am longing, my soul is fainting. I want my Nadia Kahar, my Nadia Mahia, my Kaortini. I want my princesses and my queens to be given to me from Yehovah, my God. My heart's desire is to have my bones of my bones and my flesh of my flesh. My wifey, Queen Eve's Chawachayas with Adam Dururan. My heart and my flesh cries out to Adonai Yehovah. It sings to my God because he's about to bless me with them. He says, I will give their heart's desire in my kingdom. In Psalm 84, 2. And Yeah, and 
el Jaya Gamsi Pord Masia Beit Derog Keni Maki La Asher Shatah E Proheha Et Mis Mis Behoteka Yehova Shuro Hagodesh Eloa Sebaot Maki Elohi And we're going to go rule with my God. And God's bird creatures, his birdies have discovered a home in the house of Adam Duran in freedom from the beast and Satan. And we're going to the kingdom of the heavens. Narikaha Kinimaki, my queen's queen king's camelics have found a place to lay my eggs and my chicks and my babies. And <laughs> our babies of our honeymoon. We offer to God, and every baby is dedicated to God. It's a dedication of our babies to serve God, and they are all baptized in the presence of God. It's a very powerful moment. Every birth, every birth of every baby is very powerful. It's going to be very, very miraculous, wonderful. And upon your altars, God, Yehovah Sebaot army, which we will build as our as your king and queens. So a bird of a feather shall flock together. Therefore my birdie shall dwell in my house. I'll be dead on. Because these are God's birdies. You can't brainwash people. The checkers, they're trying to brainwash everybody. As to not go to heaven. That's is that sad? That's so sad. There's um Paris Hilton multiplying, adding to herself. Around New Jerusalem, and we have Earths and galaxies. There's beautiful, adorable Paris Hilton, and ruling and queening it as a king. Really, oh, these are kings. These are psh, Paris Hilton, Nikki. Uh, these are kings. These girls definitely going to be kings. King Kylie, King Kenny, King Paris, King Nikki. Um, they're kings. So that's how I do it. Um, you're not a piece of meat. You're not a piece of meat. You're not my property. Uh, oh yeah, you are. But you're not treated as a, you're not treated as my property. Uh, I promote you to my side. And you're you're my side. You're my helper. You're my naked chaya. As it says in Genesis 1 or Genesis 2, and you're my naked Chaya, and you're to my side. You guys are going to be kings, and that's the point in this video is that you're going. That's beautiful. I love those colors. Josephina colors, all the colors. That's beautiful. I love this. Especially those ballerina legs. Those ballerina legs. Are so divine. Got to take a picture of that. I just can't get enough of these pictures. They're so cool. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, Paris, Nikki. So give me my Christian boys and give me my Christian girls right now, cause Adam's not asking. He just gonna take them. He show you how. I did it without firing a shot. My cannons ain't even here yet. Pow, pow, pow. But it's in roots. And it's coming with my throne and my crowns. So give me my Nicki Minaj. Nicki and Paris, Nicki, baby, look the candies. Blessing with the custards. Mark and K, Isha's get. Barsha dicks. What? Barsha dicks. Ashalam alaikum, says up. Barsha dicks, he read, I'm in her. Wannabes can never keep up. They don't got no bars. Tell me how could they keep up. The real king raps. And that's what the prophecy says. And I wish you daughters. Uh, what else did I say? And flow Millie in the party. 
We'll call it a cause Nikki wanted me to do a remix. So I bless him with the clusters. Malka K Ishes get Barsha Dicks with Barsha Dick. Get Barsha Dicks wet with Barsha Dicks. And JT, that girl lit. Suki Hana Queen got the good goodie. And Fro Millie Young Miami. <clears throat> Oh, Millie Young Miami. Got them in the kingdom, now they're addicted to the yummy. Summer Walker Peaches. Adam did on here, preacher and your speaker. I'm also your microphone. Coming to pray to Jesus, he could hear you. Something like that. Okay, so this is a beautiful picture. I love it. Galaxies, worlds, earths. New Jerusalem, uh, Queen King, Paris Hilton, multiplying, adding to herself, rods of rulership, a flame that never goes out, that's sexy, the fiery flame of oil that never dies, mm -hmm. I like that, forever, forever, you're my Queen King forever, I guess so. That's the prophecy. That is so beautiful. <clears throat> this was two years ago? When was this? 22? 22. Mm -hmm. That really does it for me. Paris Hilton really does it for me. I gotta say. Ballerina, ballerina legs, the voice, the comedy, and oh yeah, Nicole Richie and Sophia Richie and the Richies and Nicole, and they're so funny. You guys are hilarious. Uh, are you guys doing a, a Simple Life episodes again? Baby. Okay, let's see what else. Um, I think I gotta make dinner. I gotta make dinner and I have to do something because Paris Hilton. I saw your fault. Paris Hilton. Goodness graciousness. Ashalam alaikum, Ben Akalian, Shalom Shua. Um, I wanna say, God's daughters, you're going to be rulers. You're going to be kings. You're not going to be told what to do. We're gonna be we're gonna be told what to do by Yahweh as couples, as kings and queens, as wives and husbands. The Lord Yahweh is gonna tell us what to do. And uh, but that's gonna be fun, so don't worry about that. <laughs> that's all good that's all goodness. And the reason for that is well he's gonna be everywhere, every step of the way. Elohim, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, King David will be a, our prince and shepherd. And we're going to be, have a lot of helpers and a lot of angels. We're going to be with God, the presence of God the whole time. But there's a special presence of Yehoah that uh, he tells us what to do, especially on the six-day dinner. And that's a, that's a sign of approval. That's a sign of his approval of this whole thing. And um, it's a very special thing oh, when he does that. So, uh, we have the approval of God, the Father. We have the approval of the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit. The whole Elohim is on our side. We have um, the angels, the councils, the prophets, the kings, the queens. King David, Ezekiel 37, he lowers himself to a shepherd to help shepherd us and my generations of my sticks. And um, this is a, oh man, this is a very awesome, beautiful thing that even King David and Solomon and the prophets and the, and the angels and the councils see what God is doing in this last day generation to accomplish salvation through a, through a noble willing person, a noble willing royal child with the Holy Spirit seed, uh, a star boy, Kadama star in Koka, Adam Dara Koka Miyako. And what God is doing through an obedient son and servant 
and um, heaven is watching us every day every second of every day and they're very amazed and very rejoiceful in celebration making merry and glad in these salvations before God comes and breaking the chains of bondage and slavery you know off this generations especially the children to know that they have a bright future I mean what's the future that what is the future of the children in this world with the checkers running it the way they run it there's no future here it's slavery just let's just think about that for a second before I stop this it's already slavery as soon as you come out the womb it's slavery what is the future on this planet earth in any country with checkers running it the way they run it with this nonsense of no talented no gifted no anointing playing around with letters satanism witchcraft hypocrisy abominations god hates them there's no future here so we got to take the kids we got to go where they can have a future they're going to rule they're going to reign they're going to build they're going to have many nations there's no future here in this planet they ruined it but but praise God he made a way to restore this people through the king the last king in God's mind with God's mindset with God's thinking as a heart after God and the heart is connected to the mind and the mind is the heart and God has um, we have came up with this restoration of this generation to be in God's holiness because they're not doing it they Hosea 1 Hosea chapter 1 says they let all my people and now we cleanse you from the idols Ezekiel 36 26 Ezekiel 36 26 Ezekiel 37 you're resurrected from the dead you cleanse from the false gods that's how bad it is false gods in the earth and now look what we get new earths so just hold on to the faith and keep praising Jesus keep praising God because man it's bad this is horrible I don't want to use that one it's bad it's very very evil wicked it's evil there's no future in this planet checkers are false gods all over the world that's horrible so praise God that he's doing something about it and I'm doing something about it I'm using my second heaven honeymoon to restore this generation into godliness and holiness and servitude and priesthood and worshiping God and making worshiping babies so God bless you Paris Hilton love you and everybody on Instagram Ashlam Alaikum says up Barsa Dexy Red and shout out to Brooklyn Queen emojis you're gonna get those emojis you know where and shout let me do some shouts shout out to uh, bring your bum bum Nikki bring your bum bum Ruby Rosha, bring your bum bum. Ice spice, gonna lick it, lick it till you love me. Take it to the garden. Uh, I'm trying to remember all my lyrics of different songs. <laughs> uh, Cardi B, don't you know that you're married? Cardi B, don't you know that you're married? And um, one of my songs. <clears throat> and what does it say? Cardi B, don't you know that you're married? Let's just say, let me see. I gotta be careful if I open it when I say something. Cardi B, don't you know that you're married? Should I open it? Shout out to Alabama. I'm not gonna open it, I might say something. Something good, something juicy. Cardi B, don't you know that you're married? Did you hear my song? I don't want to. <laughs> I want to open it, but my um, notebook is not censored. It's only censored when I share it. Um, shout out to Alabama, Brooklyn Queen, Bianca, Bonnie, Bad Baby, my queen. Shout out to Marilyn. Shout out to Princess. 
Shout out to Chanel West Coast, West Coast and baby, you're 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 worldwide and heavenly kingdom. Chanel West Coast, God bless you and your friends and family. Um, Jesus loves you, Jewish Golden Judah girl, and your uh, God bless your family. But we got this, I got this. So I bring your your baby daddy or whoever he is. I'm not sure if you're married. Um, and who else is in? Trina, shout out to Trina, shout out to Young Miami, shout out to uh, who's that other city girl? Shh, don't say that out loud. Uh, JT, I already said those songs, those words. Shout out to uh, man, I got a girl, Paris Hilton, driving crazy. <clears throat> Paris Hilton, driving me crazy.